It's hard to call it radio when it's this out of the box. Listen to that. <laughs> Man, you know just what to say. You might be a redneck. Here it is. Fox News alert on several dramatic new developments. Frank Sinatra. You're a delightful audience. Let's go to Margaritaville. To the 10, to the 5. Touchdown. This is Satellite Radio. Welcome to Sirius XM. Big shout out to our affiliates of Sirius XM. If you want to check out Sirius XM for yourself, go to tinyurl.com slash Sirius XM CEO Radio, all one word, or go directly to our website. That's CEO Radio dot live. Again, that is CEO Radio, all one word, dot L I V E. You can go directly to our website there. Click on any of the Sirius XM links on the website. It'll bring you right to our sign up page. Guaranteed we will get you the best deal. Let's get into uh, let's get into some shit for those those people with the upper XC. Out there at the club, small jumps and fist pumps, motherfuckers. This is ABT with ecstasy.
was ABT with Ecstasy. You know, while we're in this little club vibe, let's get into this shit by the Horus. It's called One Night in New York City. Yeah, I like this song. You'll see it, it kind of tells a story, but it's still on that hype shit. But just the way he does it, it reminds me of that song Tom's Diner, the old school 90s shit. But more of an ecstasy vibe to it. Like this whole fucking thing right here, man. Maybe just because back when I was doing XC, I had a night in New York City. Ended up at some fucking hookah lounge. Let's get into the song, though. Hello, my name is Oliver, and I'm going to tell you a story. It's about a young girl. She's only 15 years old and has blonde hair and blue eyes. She lives with her parents in New Jersey and they love her very much. And one night, she and her friends decided they were gonna come to New York City. My parents are away and I'll take their car. They will never know. We're gonna have a great time, she said. And they drove over the George Washington Bridge and drove downtown to the limelight. Wow, look at the line. Don't worry, I know the guy at the door. We'll get in. And they did. So many people. Look at that guy's shoes. They must be a mile high. And she turned around and bumped into a really cute guy. They had a good time. They danced for hours and hours. And she had a few drinks, too. Hey, he said, my roommate's not home and well. I was wondering if you wanna, you know, come to my place. I just don't wanna, I just don't wanna be alone. And she said, yes. So they got into a taxi and went to 3rd Avenue and 11th Street to the NYU dorm rooms and went upstairs and sat on his bed and he said, Take this pill. And she did. And then she said, What did you just give me? Ecstasy, he said. And then, He fucked her all night. Fucked her all night. Fucked her. That was a horrorist with One Night in New York. By the way, he spells whore, H-O-R-R-O-R, not W-H-O-R. That would be a better name, though, the horrorist, <laughs> the horriest. But, uh, yeah, man, when I was in New York, the, when I was out on the East Coast, I did a bunch of ecstasy one time, and we went rolling around fucking, we, we were trying to go to, like, fucking Albany. And then somehow we ended up in, like, Manhattan, like, Times Square shit, and then ended up at this hookah lounge, and we were in there for, like, ten minutes, and then they found out I was underage and kicked me the fuck out, so the homies left with me. Crazy fucking night, man. One of the best nights of my fucking life.
peace we need and the things that we strive for. The feeling you'll get comes so deep and warm. Taste your breath just as sweet as the sugar. A simple reminder of how we burn. Thank you.